Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome to this new video on Caspa. I uh, just wanted to do a little bit of an update because uh, we have seen significant price moves again. And, uh, and overall, I mean, the market structure right now for Caspa is just a little bit weird. I think most of you can agree with me on that. Excuse me, I almost have to sneeze. So if I if I cut out at some point of time, you know what happens. Um, <laughs> but but I'll just give you my, my honest opinion on Caspa. I, I do think I have a general idea of, uh, of where Caspa is going right now. It's it's very much like in terms of price right now, it's very much in the middle because it's, in my eyes, it's neither bullish nor bearish really. But um, I, I know most of you, because I, I know the Caspa community is a, is a strong, a very tight community. I know most of you will probably tell you, no, it's it's 100% bullish. And I, I do not disagree with, with, with you on that, but I, I don't think it's 100% bullish. Um, but that's also just what I, what I wanted to talk about, right? And then... Um, at the end, if you disagree, we can always uh, we can always discuss about that. Um, but before we dive into Caspa, I do want to say that I have my own premium trading group as well, uh, in which I share my own trades. But apart from that, you also gain access to my uh, trading guides and to a chat room full of traders, which I think and is very valuable. Uh, there we, we talk about a lot of cryptos every day that could pump, like for example, um uh storage was uh, was talked about right there right uh, at, at this point of time so some people made some some nice money on that just in general some uh, li like there's a lot of value in that so if you're interested in that consider joining uh, via the links down in the description but for now let's actually get into caspa again i almost could not find it so the thing is first of all we have to establish whether caspa is bullish or bearish right we, we just have to do that so the case for it to be bullish is that all of the EMAs are broken, all right? All of the EMAs are below the price on the four hour time frame right now. And, uh, and and they were actually respected and we're making a higher lows, all right? So in that way, you could actually already argue that it's, that, that it's bullish. And that's not wrong. It just is not wrong because it really is true. Like this was some sort of a reversal. The thing though is, is that we have respected, like the bearish case, is that this trend line right here was respected. So it is respecting some bearish indication for now. If you take a look at the daily time frame, there really hasn't been any reversal. And it's more like Caspa is getting into some sort of a weird consolidation right now, uh, actually. And then apart from that, what is also significant, like it's not as significant as for other cryptos, um, because the, the correlation is not that high. Um, but overall, Caspa is correlated to what the market is do doing, all right? And Bitcoin right now is very, very far from bullish. So all of that together, I think we need to wait for confirmation, all right? I think that if Caspa right now really breaks down below uh, 3.95 cents again, so that's the level it's trying to break down below right now, but it's, it's not close, all right? The candle closes in three hours. So there's still time to actually still be bullish. But if it closes below that, I would say that's enough confirmation for me to assume that, sure, uh, 3.8 cents might supply uh, more support for, for the short term. But overall, Caspa is probably likely to drop down to 3.6 cents again, and then later also to 3.3, uh, which I, in, uh, I indicated with this. So it's waiting for either that bearish breakout uh, below 3.95 cents, which would, in my eyes, uh, like really solidify or at least confirm the the bearish market structure but if Caspa is able to hold that level and actually get a bullish breakout above this uh, this level right here let's say between 4.15 cents and 4.2 cents then it's very bullish like then it's 100 bullish then there's there's no way you could argue anymore on the daily time frame as well that it's bullish and um, like on the four hour time frame then we're also making higher uh, higher highs instead of only higher lows so it's waiting for one of these these breakouts, and I would say it's a bit more likely to to get that bearish breakout because of the general market direction. But that's just my 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 view on it. Like I said, if you disagree with me on that, I would always um, I, I I'm always open for discussion on that. But for now, that's my take on Caspa. So thank you for watching. Take care, and bye.